Now let's look at fluorescein angiography. The dye as we have already discussed is sodium fluorescein. We are going to use the dye called sodium fluorescein and inject it into the anticubital vein on the hand of the patient. On the arm of the patient, you will inject it into the anticubital vein. This can be a question, kindly remember. And it reaches the retina in approximately 11 seconds. So within 11 seconds of your injecting the dye into the anticubital vein, it's going to reach the retina. And when there is no pathology, obviously the dye will be excreted completely through the urine. The patient will have a dark orange colored urine for the next two days. However, in case of a pathology, the, the, the dye leaks into the surrounding retina. Whenever there is a vascular problem, the vessel allows the dye to leak into the surrounding retina and this leak can be pho photographed by a powerful instrument called the fundus camera. What you're seeing here is a picture taken from the fundus camera. You can clearly see that the pictures are of the black and white nature. All of these are the vessels that you're seeing. However, this is not a normal photograph. What you're seeing all over here is a dye leakage around the macula area. So that's how it's going to pick up whenever there's a leakage of dye. Now the characteristic for cystoid macular edema is our famous petaloid appearance or the flower petal appearance. Whenever you see this kind of flower petal appearance on your fundus angiography, you are going to diagnose it as cystoid macula edema. However, the limitations of this are the, is that you are going to poke the patient. That is, it's an invasive procedure and some unfortunate people also react very badly to it and they can uh, end up having bronchospasm or cardiac arrest. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at MediCoab. Thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.